boys beyond their years, these children will demonstrate firsthand the clarity and quality of language and speech possible for people with hearing loss. We all have a fundamental right to share our point of view, to contribute, to make our mark on the world and offer up our experiences, our thoughts and our ideas. And we all have a fundamental right to be heeded, to be taken seriously, to be appreciated, to be understood. And that is just what First Voice is doing for people all over Australia and New Zealand. When I was 15 months old, mum and dad found out I was deaf. I got my first cochlear implant when I was 19 months old. I call my cochlear implants my special ears. You might think reading and cochlear implants have nothing to do with each other, but without hearing I never would have learned to read so early and so well. Reading can take you anywhere and everywhere. I love my CI. My spelling is awesome. I can still hear when my friends talk. I can even hear where sounds are coming from. Facts and figures, sizes and numbers don't really mean much until you add an expanse to them. I am deaf and I have two cochlear implants. I like my cochlear implants because they help me to hear. I love to read and I love talking with my sisters. To make your voice heard is an achievement. To make your voice heard in the face of adversity is triumph. Do I feel any different because I was born deaf? No, I don't. I think that actor Kevin Conroy summed it up best when he said, Everyone is handed adversity in life. No one's journey is easy. It's how they handle it that makes people unique, and I'm definitely unique. Mainly because I think Pete's speech is powerful. Not just because of what we say, because of the ability to speak for yourself. All animals need to communicate. We are animals too. I am lucky that I have cochlear implants to help me communicate with my friends and family. I would not have achieved all that I have, including my speech, language and listening skills, without the time and effort of so many people. I truly appreciate what those amazing people have done for me. With my cochlear implants, I can do all the things my friends can do. When I grow up, I would like to be a builder, a farmer and a scientist. I know that I can be whatever I want to be. Being deaf does not define me. It does not define my future.